Welcome to Nostalgia Hit. Today we look back at the cast of the American Western action TV series, The High Shopper Ralph. We'll take a look back at actors who appeared in five or more episodes over the show's four seasons and update them as of 2022. Enjoy the video. Leif Erikson played Big John Cannon. In 1967, Erikson was 55 years old. He was born on October 27, 1911. He died of cancer. On January 29, 1986, he was 74 years of age. Erickson appeared in almost 150 film and television programs, including On the Waterfront, Tea and Sympathy, and The Carpetbaggers. His last role was in a 1984 episode of the TV series, Fantasy Island, titled Going on Home, Ambitious Lady, where he played Father Prime. Cameron Mitchell played Buck Cannon. In 1967, Mitchell was 48 years old. He was born on November 4, 1918. He died of lung cancer. On July 6, 1994, he was 75 years of age. Mitchell appeared in over 240 film and TV shows, including How to Marry a Millionaire, The Beachcomber, and Island of Adventure. His last role was in the 1995 horror film, Jacko, where he played the role of Dr. Cadaver. The film was posthumously released after his death. Henry Darrow played Manolito Montoya. In 1967, Darrow was 34 years old. He was born on September 15, 1933. He died of natural causes. On March 14, 2021, he was 87 years of age. Darrow appeared in almost 150 film and television programs, including The Hitcher, Santa Barbara, and Zorro. His last role was in the 2012 TV drama film, Soda Springs, where he played the role of El Quijano. Linda Crystal played Victoria Cannon. In 1967, Crystal was 36 years old. She was born on February 23, 1931. She died in her sleep. On June 27, 2020, she was 89 years of age. Her role as Victoria Cannon earned her two Emmy and two Golden Globe nominations, winning Best Actress in a Television Drama in 1968. Crystal appeared in over 40 film and TV shows. Her last acting role was in a 1988 episode of the TV series, General Hospital, where she played a recurring role as Dimitri. Mark Slade played Billy Blue Cannon. In 1967, Slade was 28 years old. He was born on May 1, 1939, and is now 83 years of age. Slade appeared in over 40 film and television programs, including Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Wackiest Ship in the Army, and Salty. His last screen role was in a 1985 episode of the TV series, Cagney and Lacey, titled Stress, where he played Martin Gelban. Slade also appeared in countless stage shows, and is now a writer, director, and an artist. Don Collier played Sam Butler. In 1967, Collier was 38 years old. He was born on October 17, 1928. He died from lung cancer on September 13, 2021. He was 92 years of age. Collier appeared in almost 70 film and TV shows, including recurring roles in the TV series, Outlaws, Bonanza, and Young Riders. His last acting role was in the 2022 Western film No Name and Dynamite Davenport, where he played Angus. The film was posthumously released after his death. Bob Hoy played Joe Butler. In 1967, Hoy was 40 years old. He was born on April 3, 1927. He died from cancer on February 8, 2010. He was 82 years of age. Hoy appeared in over 180 film and television programs, including Bite the Bullet, The Outlaw Josie Wales, and The Enforcer. He was also a renowned and award-winning stuntman, stunt doubling for actors such as Tyrone Power, Tony Curtis, and Charles Bronson. His last acting role was in the 2005 TV movie, The Detective, where he played a man in the next bed. Roberto Contreras played Pedro Carr. In 1967, Contreras was 38 years old. He was born on December 12, 1928. He died on July 18, 2000, after a short illness. He was 71 years of age. Contreras appeared in over 90 film and television programs, including Topaz, Black Samurai, and Scarface. His last acting role was in the 1993 epic crime film, Blood and Blood Out, Bound by Honor, where he played Cruz's grandfather. Ted Markland played Reno. In 1967, Markland was 34 years old. He was born on January 15, 1933. He died on December 18, 2011. He was 78 years of age. 
Markland appeared in over 90 film and television programs, including One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Colors, and Last Man Standing. His last acting role was in the 2009 comedy film Remembering Nigel, where he played himself. Rodolfo Acosta played Vecuero. In 1967, Acosta was 47 years old. He was born on July 29, 1920. He died of liver cancer on November 7, 1974. He was 54 years of age. Acosta appeared in over 120 film and television programs, including The Tijuana Story, Death Valley Days, and Bonanza. His last acting role was in a 1973 episode of the crime drama TV series, Ironside, titled The Helping Hand, where he played Sergeant Ramirez. Jerry Summers played Ira Bean. In 1967, Summers was 36 years old. He was born on February 3, 1931. He died on January 1, 2006. He was 74 years of age. Summers appeared in almost 80 film and television programs, including Have Gun Will Travel, Gunsmoke, and Hawaii 5 -0. He was also a renowned stuntman and stunt coordinator, doubling for actors such as Tony Curtis, Sal Mineo, and Christopher Jones. His last acting role was in the 1990 crime comedy, Catch Fire, where he played Ryanetti. Frank Silvera played Don Sebastian Montoya. In 1967, Silvera was 53 years old. He was born on July 24, 1914. He died on June 11, 1970, after accidentally electrocuting himself while repairing a garbage disposal unit in his kitchen sink. He was 55 years of age. Silvera appeared in almost 80 film and television programs, including The Lady of the Camellias, The Appaloosa, and The St. Valentine's Day Massacre. His last acting role was in the 1975 TV drama movie Perilous Voyage, where he played General Salazar. The film was posthumously released after his death. Rudy Ramos played Wind. In 1970, Ramos was 20 years old. He was born on September 19, 1950, and is now 72 years of age. Ramos has appeared in almost 50 film and television programs, including Helter Skelter, Beverly Hills Cop 2, and Hunter. His most recent role is a recurring part in the fourth season of the TV western drama Yellowstone, where he plays Felix Long. Ramos is also a respected actor of stage, with countless performances under his belt. Marie Gomez played Perlita Flores. Her age at the time of filming is unknown. Throughout her career, Gomez appeared in 13 film and television programs, including The Professionals, The Wild Wild West, and I Spy. Her last acting role was in the 1970 western film Barquero, where she played Nola. If you have a favorite character or episode from the High Shopper Route, please feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.